Hi, my name is Dr. Sheila Sudhakar. I'm an internal medicine physician and have been practicing with Cigna for quite some time. I really am looking forward to this opportunity to share some information with you. My passion has always been chronic disease management through lifestyle. As you all know, we hear about diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, and high cholesterol through many sources every single day. We have family members who are figuring out how to manage through it. And we have friends as well who are hoping to help through it as well. Some of the major causes of these particular lifestyle conditions include dietary intake, which is the food that we eat on a regular basis, our level of physical activity, and our lifestyle in general. What's our day-to-day -day routine? So I'd like to spend a little bit of time on each of these three topics. Diet. Why is our diet so important? If you think about us culturally as South Asians, think about how times used to be approximately 50 to 100 years ago. Food was not readily available. And when a family of four needed to eat, food was rationed out so everyone had the opportunity to eat appropriately. So we had natural portion control built into our system. The next thing was manufacturing started coming into play. And once manufacturing came in, it became easier to make food. So now we have everything available at the push of a button. But before, to blend, to grind, to chop, it took a lot of energy to be able to do that. And to be able to do it in a large quantity was very difficult. So food was more limited and we actually expended energy to prepare it. So what is it that we need to do at this point in time that could really help our dietary intake? Number one, we have to be cognizant with regard to portion control. It's really hard, I know, especially when we have chapatis and rice and dal and yummy vegetables in front of us. After a long day of work, it's really hard to decide, I'm only going to eat this much. There are ways that you can actually incorporate healthy foods in your diet and get full at the same time so you don't feel that you have to eat more. A very simple technique that I've learned in making chapatis is you use a one-to-one -one ratio of chapati flour and tofu. You don't need anything else. So if you're making chapatis for a family of four, you'd use two cups of chapati flour and one square of tofu that's readily available in your grocery store. You get the extra firm tofu and you squeeze out the water and you mix that into the flour, roll it up and make chapatis and you have super healthy chapatis. You get filled sooner because of the tofu and it's absolutely delicious. The other thing that's very important is physical activity. With the invention of technology, it's so much easier to get things done from your desk. So how is it that we can actually incorporate physical activity into our day-to-day? -day? Number one, standing and working helps significantly. Number two, when you're talking on the phone, use headphones so you can actually walk and talk at the same time. Number three, surround your social interactions with a physical activity as opposed to food and try to find activities that really make you enjoy life and things that are very sustainable for you. The third more important thing is how do we deal with stress and are we getting enough sleep? Sleep plays a big role in our ability to be healthy. We tend to compromise on sleep so often and for many of us who have conference calls late at night or try to have interactions with people on the other side of the world, sleep is the first thing that goes. One very important tactic that could be used is at least stick to the same sleep time every day and wake up at the same time every day so that you're guaranteeing X amount of hours on a regular basis and the ideal amount is six to eight hours. I hope you find these techniques useful and helpful and hopefully you'll be able to incorporate them in your day to day. Thank you very much.